All right, then, welcome back to uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! plays. Uh, we're going to do... We're on episode three of the first series, The Ultimate Great Moth. How many are there? Quite a few. So, Shizu. All right, then, let's see if we can beat the old... Uh, this prick. All right. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally, right here and now. We shall hold a special duel. Isn't he on the TV? Suddenly, a strange arcane magic froze time so that no one could move, except for Yugi. Why is he narrating? It's dead weird. Ah, uh, we turn into Yami Yugi. The dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystic place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is very possible. I don't know why I've changed that. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented the game. What if you? What if I told you I didn't? Huh? Ancient times, Egyptians. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real. The way you scowl. Yugi looked down at the million puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle. Five thousand years ago. Blah blah blah. Seven items. And yes, there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever if only you knew how to unleash it. <sighs> I'm done with your games. Just, 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 man, you're right. That's right, Yugi boy. Wow, this, so much exposition. Oh, it's just literally the story. Ah, everyone's seen the show. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good at dueling as you are at running away. Was I simply running away or cleverly weaving you into my web? <laughs> it's time to duel. So, if you want to win the way it wins in the show, we've got to wet the field and then you summon Skull to electrocute uh, Paper always wins. Damn! And then electrocute him with summon Skull. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to uh, let us do that. I wonder if there's field power bonuses. That would make me laugh. No, there's not. Thank fuck. Nice. Can't summon anything yet, though. Uh, set that. Unless we're playing by uh, the old-fashioned rules. No, we're not. <laughs> Can't just summon a level 5 or a level 7 once the dam. No, I don't want to do anything. Stop it. If I hold down B, it'll stop me from... I'll take that damage. Yeah, if you hold down B, it stops it from asking if you want to conduct something. Woohoo! My hammock graveyard. Uh, how long do you last for? 700 attack. What attack have you got? Um, We'll leave it for now. Oh, he's got more attack. Just end phase. No, stop it. Uh, I'll get one of these guys out and I'll equip that with one of the unicorn. And that'll do me. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that was a bad move. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it all. Not a good start. But you've got to lose at first to make it more dramatic when you win. Should we just try and win the game with Sangan? I'm sorry. Oh, man. Stop asking me to chain cards. Right, so, battle phase. Oh, you're doing my head in now. Attack. You. No. That's the only problem with the Yu-Gi-Oh games is when it asks for, like, do you want to activate something else? Uh, yep, end phase. Hopefully he's got nothing to summon, like Great Moth. That's fine with me. As long as it's not another goddamn man eater bug. Uh, never mind. Mirror Force, happy with that. Set that. Alright, I'm going to summon Curse Dragon now so I can just get a card with that. Oh, 
Nice. One of the unicorn. Return it to the top of your deck. Yeah, why not? Mm, don't wanna. Don't wanna chain another card. Sangan's effect. Uh, we don't Kribo. It's the highest attack point monster we can get. 1,500. 1,300. Yeah, we'll just have him then. It's fine with me. No more activating effects. Uh, yep, in phase. So it turns out Weevil's the most difficult opponent we've had so far, not Seto Kaiba. Oh god, it begins. What's happening? I don't understand who's he going to attack with. Who's got the... What does this do? Equip only to a monster. If it battles a monster with a higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense times the difference in levels. Oh, we don't want that. But we do have a mirror force. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt, Weevil. I'm pretty sure that happened to you before, Weevil. Uh, in the series. I remember making... Um, Whatever video it was on. Oh dear. Summon you. And end phase. He's feeling the pressure now. He had a good tactic though. Give him props for that. And then draw. I'll summon you. I want the summon skull. End phase. It's the only problem with um, these kinds of games at the moment because of the uh, swords revealing light. Makes the games last a bit too long for me. Right, our turn. Our turn. Right, I'll just summon you. Let's attack. With you first. Of course, you got 1,500. No! Ah, oh, shit. I don't know why I did that. Complete accident. And of course, he's got that cocoon of evolution. Man, we're taking some damage. End phase. There's Petite Moth. He's going to equip Cocoon of Evolution to it. Can he do that? Spellbinding Circle? I don't think so. Give me some of Skull. Damn. Uh, well, you got 1,300, 400, 200. One, two. So, is it, if it battles a monster with a higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack defense. So, 4. So, it's 5, 10, 15. It's 2,000. I feel like no matter what I do, my monster's going to die. The equip monster gains 500 attack times the difference. Oh, the difference in levels. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I learnt my lesson. 5, 10, 15, 1,500, 1,800. Ah, okay. Oh, shit. He's still kind of sat, though. Probably should have just left him. He's got a defense that I can't stop. Polymerization. 
totally summon some of it. Oh, I could summon Guy a Dragon Champion. 2600 attack, level 7. Would that destroy him? So a difference of 6. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 3000. Can't do that. Uh, we'll just leave it for now. Gonna do it in a bit though. So that's six stars as well. He'll have 1,300. I need something to boost my monster's attack. Another horn of the unicorn or something. Hope something good. Never mind. I want summon skull. Alright. And in phase. Come on, Weevil. Sacrifice it or something. I can't deal with this. That's what we needed. Right, so summon that. So he's got 1,200 in his free star. We activate this. Equip him to that. Then battle phase. Should have flipped my monster face up. Never mind. We can live. Nice. Attack directly. Early. And end phase. Uh, there's no real point of me summoning a uh, guy the Dragon Knight. Not yet, anyway. Now there is. Now let's activate. I activate polymerization. I fuse my guy the first knight with my curse of dragon to summon. Oh, it's brilliant! Brilliant! Just like the series. Oh, we got an achievement as well. Klesk. The fuck does that mean? Woohoo! I attack directly with my Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Woohoo! Great duel. It's over. I've won. Now, impossible. My muff is unbeatable. You didn't even summon it, mate. Got the Harpy Lady deck something. Ultimate Great Moth, Wheel Underwood, Moth Evolution, My Valentine, Booster Pack, Cocoon of Evolution, Pot of Greed. Oh, we've got Pop Greed. Nice. Sick. Can we start buying cards yet? Yes, we can. Uh, should we just buy one of, well, one of Grandpa's? Why not? Oh, Premature Burial. Not bad. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll um, we'll do a special series. Not a series, but... Oh, we can do the reverse as well. Right, well... Should we try and win as Weevil? Is that worth it? Yeah, go on then. Story deck. I think that's how the video should go. We'll play two games... From each perspective, and that's a video. That sounds fine. Paper always wins. Nice. I'll go first. Let's see if we can get out. Ultimately perfect great moth. Fair play to whoever made these um, these decks. We've got a petite moth and a great moth. And um, we can't summon anything else. I really, really, really don't want to summon that. I'm just going to fucking... Ugh. Then my turn. Oh, actually, because he's level one, he probably get. I said he gets the biggest boost. Should have just summoned him. Of course, he gets wasteland. He's got the field power bonus. All right, give me something good. Good enough. So let's summon this. And this is where I realised that my monster is going to be too weak when I attack. So he's got three hundred. And there's a difference of two. 
So it'll make me 1,300. So it's not enough. Idiot. Shouldn't have even activated that. Never mind. I'll just stop his attack with Bobbico. If he attacks with Sangan, I'm going to let him. He didn't. Let's just activate this. Our turn. Give me a cure of evolution. Big insect. Oh, nothing's strong enough. Oh, that is. I lied. What does Wasteland increase? Dinosaur, zombie, and rock. Never mind. Give me that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. Battle phase. Attack. I think we're really, really going to struggle in this duel. <laughs> Especially with that field spell. Unless he's got that card to destroy the field spell. Which I'd appreciate him using now. Oh, no. Now, this is where it goes downhill. Oh, dear. Right. Uh, yeah, I have to equip that to it. You can put this card from your hand. Right. We'll give it a turn. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to set that. How many turns does it need to make? Four turns. Jesus. Going downhill. Give me Petite Moth. Howling Insect. Good enough. We got 1,200. Set that. End phase. So I think I'm going to go. I'm going to get out that Cocoon Moth thing now. So, yes. Let's summon another Howling Moth. Defense mode. He's going to destroy that again. Then, yes. I'm going to get out another Howling Moth if we have one more. No, we don't. It. Uh, oh, I can't do anything. We'll just get that out for now. The defense. My plan was to, if we had three in the deck, special summon the Petite Moth as the last turn. Never mind. Not in this card. What's this? This card is sent from your field to the graveyard. You can add one level five or higher insect type monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished, you can send one insect type monster from your deck to the graveyard, except Resonance Insect. I don't know what to do with it. I'll just say it. End phase. Oh, shit. This is not good. I need money to bug. And a rude Kaiser. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just going downhill. Oh, no. A resonant insect. I pressed B by accident. Can't you equip to a basic insect either? Do me a favour. Oh, we've totally lost. Maybe Cocoon of Evolution would have saved me then. I'd have probably lost either way. Yeah. My life points! Ah. Ah. First loss. Oh, we've got a spellbinding circle, though. Not the worst. What are we on? 19 minutes. Right, let's have another go. So basically, to summarise, because I didn't want you to sit through that game, I lost again, 
and I almost got my ultimately perfect great moth out. I was one turn away, but he summoned his Dark Magician and killed me, which was horrible. But we've got a Swords Revealing Light, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But never mind, anyway. Maybe next time.